And it, there is something really special about having a, a friendship group that is gay because, yeah, you're right, my family can't, yeah, as can't much as they, that. They, yeah, yeah, as much as they might empathise and try to, they, yeah. they, there's, and which is a, a wonderful thing, but for someone who's to actually gone through that and, yeah. you know, and to pat, and, and passing the baton is the phrase that I, I it's, it's, it's always stuck with me and, yeah. you know, I've been lucky enough that I've had Anthony and Peter um, and they've had, pe you know, Anthony and Ian and, yeah. you know, p these people who've, who've passed the baton and, uh, mm. you know, I suppose you could say we're doing that with a podcast even. Yeah. And it, I just, I just think that's, I feel like that is, it's probably not unique to us as gay people, but it's, it's certainly more prevalent. Yeah. And I think that's a, I think that's a lovely thing. Mm. You know, you see, you go down the gay village at Manchester or whatever, and yeah. you see people, you see people, I, I, I like to think you see people looking out for each other more. I don't, yeah. uh, maybe, and, and I know everybody has bad experiences, mm. but I think, I don't know, maybe it's something that I've felt that I've seen more. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's a lovely thing. How do you feel like you celebrate your identity? on a daily basis maybe like are there things that you think that you might not think of they may be innocuous but if you think about it now are you like this is how i am authentically myself every day or this is how i do a bit of activism or i celebrate my sexuality um well good question i, I mean like i have gay i have gay shit <laughs> yeah i have gay shit well, i like i have gay stuff around the house i wear I mean, I've got some Ken socks on. <laughs> um, you know, I think just little stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I suppose it's good. It's good that because the flip side of that is why do you need to like just crack on, crack on with your life? So I get that. But I also like challenging myself. So for what, one of my things might be like wearing gay socks to the gym or out and about. And I feel this sense of worry of what people might think. And that's my own sort of therapy to myself to go push through it. But as long as I feel safe and mm. I don't actually feel truly under attack, I'm like, push through it. Because this discomfort you feel about wearing a rainbow flag on your socks in this environment is stupid. And yeah. it's a little bit of activism. It's also a little bit of me celebrating who I am. Probably no one cares. Probably no one's even noticed. But maybe someone has noticed. It also feels like you're in a bit of a club, doesn't it? And if you see someone, you go, oh, I see your rainbow. Like, I have a, I have a rainbow uh, badge on my backpack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so I like to think, you know, if I'm wearing that and someone sees it, they go, oh, he's, he's a fruit. Mm, yeah. <laughs> he's a fruit. Or, or at least he's, he's an ally. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd like to think, well, I'm, I don't really care. But, but, you know, I think it's also like a bit of a, you know, I see you, mate. Mm. I see you. Yeah. We we a little gayness. Yeah. I'm a little bit gay too. I see you and I raise you a shoulder wagon. That's why all the straight <laughs> all... <laughs> I see you and I raise you a high kick. Yeah. Um, that's why, you know, <laughs> every that's that's a that's an, a sound effect, Joel. Awesome. You need to you need to get better at this bit. You can go now. You Is that a sparkle? That's a trombone. <laughs> okay, I was doing the sparkle. I see you when I raise your shoulder kick oh, or whatever it was. You've made, you've made it. Anyway. Right. Um, but yeah, it's like being in a little club, isn't it? That's why yeah. the straights are wearing pearl necklaces and stuff. You go, oh, now I don't know if you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why are you appropriating a, Why are you wearing fashion? clothes that you were bullying people for wearing 10 years ago? I know. Uh, it's a bit confusing now. Um, but isn't it good that it's being normalized? Just people dressing how they want clothing does not have a gender this is the ridiculous thing mm. well also i learned in my linguistics degree i don't know why because it wasn't to do with language but pink and blue pink for girls blue for boys in i think it was the victorian times or bef before victorian times it was the other way around pink was a boy color and blue was a girl color and at some point in history and i don't know the exact thing someone find it put it in the comments please <laughs> they've switched it so it was like all this thing of like People getting bullied now and thinking, oh, pink is for girls, pink blue is for boys. It was literally 100 years ago, it was the other way around. That's like Santa Claus used to be green. Isn't it mad? Yeah. Clothing and colours don't have genders and it's stupid. Uh, okay. Anyway, that's my TED talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs>